Hello and welcome to Pioneer Movie Premiere. It's your friend, the Rusters. And I'm Emberlyn. I'm Catherine. And today our film is Hocus Pocus. Now, Hocus Pocus is a Halloween film um, about these three Salem witches who are brought back from the dead <laughs> and come to suck the life out of children to keep themselves young. It sucked mm. the life out of me. <laughs> and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think of this film. I've seen it about probably six times, but for both of you, it was your first time viewing this film. So, Russell, I want to know what do you think of this film overall? Well, this movie, honestly, I, I thought it was like, I like at first, I like during the prologue, I thought it was going to be kind of like really kind of darkish. Like the prologue at first felt like a bit too slow, but then I, when I got further into it, I found it to be actually really great, and I thought it was actually really funny. Great. What about you, Catherine? I, like I said, feel like it also sucked the life out of me. Um, it was really one of the worst movies I've seen in quite some time. You're if serious? I'm, being, I'm so serious. Like I, so I watched it. I tried to watch it three times. Granted, one of it was the day after my wedding, and I was very tired, and it just magically happened to come on at our hotel room, and I was like, oh, it's amazing, I'm gonna watch the movie. But it could not keep my eyes open, not only because I was exhausted, but because it was just very slow moving. And then I went home and I ended up renting it. And it just like, the cast is awesome. Bette Midler, what? She's amazing. Beaches, Sarah Jessica Parker, Sex and the City. Like they had some heavy hitter actresses, actors. The storyline was really slow and the fact that I know Emberlyn is going to touch on this, but the fact that it was rated PG was wildly inappropriate to me. Yes, to Catherine's point, I think that it should have been rated higher. Why? Because uh, as a young child, I would watch this movie. I thought oh, it was just a funny, goofy film. Uh, the, the content in this film and the hidden references completely went over my head. They weren't really hidden. Uh, yeah. Some were obvious. The virgin. The <laughs> yeah, the virgin the thing. That lights the candle. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So. That's something that yes. parents have to <laughs> talk to their children about after watching that movie. Is I guess it depends when you decide when you want to talk to your children about yeah, sex. Yeah, that, that's true. Yeah, that's true. So, so there are some, uh, a few references that are just implied that only an adult would catch on to. But then some are more obvious, such as the use of the word virgin throughout the movie over and over, over and over and, and over, over it became obvious mm -hmm. i was like i did not like i did not remember it being used that many times like in this the movie like the cop that he runs it the fake cop that he runs oh it, he yeah like, the fake cop are you cop. really a virgin i was like is this really happening in this pg movie oh my goodness <laughs> sorry so they say a virgin needs to light the black flame candle in order to bring the witches back to life um and we have a young boy named max who is about 16 years old who lights this candle, and everyone starts questioning his virginity the entire movie. And Come I was on, obviously appalled, because I had never noticed before. Um, and there are some definitely implied sexual references throughout. Um, and the talk of virginity throughout the entire movie is bound to raise some questions from your children. So be careful um, when considering whether or not your children should view this. Um, I would recommend this maybe for teens and adults um, because they could appreciate the humor and overlook, kind of overlook the sexual references and not be um, exposed at an early age. Um, with that said, I think this movie should have been rated PG-13, not just for sexual references, but also some of the use of language uh, throughout the film. Um, so I would not classify this movie as ultra family friendly. It depends on how old your yeah. kids are and how mature they are. Um, that is a fair point. And if they're virgins. Oh my Apparently. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, that was the biggest thing I noticed about this movie that I did not know in the last five times I watched it. Um, now that I'm an adult, uh, I pick up a lot more on adult references in films. And I very much understand why Catherine was turned off by this film. Um, it has a lot of humor, but the sexual innuendos were just completely unnecessary. And I think the cuss words could have been left out as well. I Any feel other that. thoughts? Well, honestly, you're making me want to think to rewatch this to like <laughs> review it more, but like, I'm, uh, to be honest, I was really hooked up on uh, the um, uh, main character, uh, Max, 
Like, uh, the relationship he tries to, like, the dynamic between him and his sister was very interesting for one. I thought that was done pretty well. Like, and I also liked that he was trying to be romantic with the uh, other girl. And, like, I honestly, I'm a sucker when it comes to romances. I, I get drawn to that somehow. <laughs> So I can appreciate that. I just, I just always find romances pretty interesting. So, what do you think of those witches? I mean, I have to say they're really dumb and very easily fooled throughout the whole movie. Yeah. They think they're smart, but they're not. They're from the 17th century, and they walk into this uh, whole new world to them of the 20th century, and they're thinking, "What is going on?" And there are a lot of things they don't know. I like and when they get the cement. They and think it's like, <laughs> what would they think it's a river? They think it's a river. They're afraid to put their they feet have no on idea it. what a road is. <laughs> so um, wait, yeah, you you said yeah, yeah you said a whole new world. What is this Aladdin? No. <laughs> so anyways, anyways, but like uh, you did say yeah, they were agreed to this whole new world, and I actually do have one complaint about that actually. So like the the three like the three main cast like not the witches but like. The three main humans. They're the all kids. like in the yeah. truck. They're trying to get away from the witches. And the witches kept uh, caught up to them on their brooms. Oops. And uh, literally what ends up happening is that uh, the main one, like the main witch, asked the guy, like he asked, can I see your driver's permit? And I'm like, did I miss something? What, what happened? How, how does she know what a driver's permit is at all? Like. They're just hmm. brand new to the 1990s. Uh, how is this possible? That must have been uh, a mistake that the filmmakers made um, that they didn't realize was there. Um, or sometimes they intentionally insert Or they might have like even that. done it on purpose. But, yeah. and I don't know. Um, parents may be a little concerned with scariness or violence in this movie. And I will say, uh, in my opinion, and I'm not one for violence, um, so, when watching this movie, I think that the violence is pretty mild. The, it is not scary, even though it is a Halloween movie. It does have a few frightening scenes that may be scary for young children. But if your child is old enough to understand that none of it is real, um, it will probably come off as mostly humorous to them and not so scary. I don't find it scary, and I don't like violent movies. Or scary movies. I have a question though. When the prologue, the prologue be uh, viewed as scary to some, or like dark, because like um, they were hung on a. Each of the witches were hung on a noose. It wasn't really. Shown. It was not shown. Yeah, it was it not. Was shown. Like but it's implied. implied. Yeah, it was. Not, it was not really shown. But the uh, the pro the situation that they're in was shown before they died. I think just to kind of answer that and expand on that a little bit more. That's what I think th where this movie really failed, was like there's a lot of mixed messages here and it's not really directed clearly to one specific audience. If they had gone all the way, it could be almost a rated R movie. But because it was Disney, it felt like they were like twisting and contorting things to be able to fit a younger audience, but they were presenting things that shouldn't have been being presented to a younger audience. So for mm -hmm. me, I just felt like it was very confusing. There were a lot of mixed messages. The storyline was not that good. I did appreciate the parallel between the sisters and brothers, between the, sister, the original sisters and brothers during the witch's original lifetime and the sister and brother. That was a constant lesson that was being portrayed from the cat who was the dead brother, um, who was reminding Max about the importance of being a good big brother. And they really played that out. And I was touched, as much as I did not like this movie, at the end when when the cat died. Sorry, spoil, spoiler yeah, alert. Yeah, spoiler alert. The cat's Here we go. dead. The cat that is living forever dies because his soul is finally free. I thought that message was super cool. But overall, it just felt like they just threw a bunch of stuff together. And there was not really a cohesive message here. Uh, and ooh. it was like... Yeah, it was a very mixed bag of different things for different audiences, and I think that, if anything, it was very surprising that it was a Disney movie. Uh, can I actually say something right now? Because I'm actually remembering this. So, I mean, you talked about the cat uh, Binks, like he uh, can't he can't die, right? So, um, 
with that being, he says that like a bit like one, in er, one of the early scenes we see him in. And um, then he gets, spoiler alert, he gets run over by the but bus. He <laughs> and, yeah. and when he's already said that he cannot die, like in, a, in that scene, it's probably supposed to be emotional. And he's already said that he can't die. That 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 where's the emotion in that? Like the cat looks like, so fake too. Like just the it, cat like reinflates. Like, <laughs> I honestly like if you had not <laughs> if he had not said the fact that he can't die, like before that, then I think it would have made it more emotional. Honestly, I think so. I think so. You can make a good point there, Russell. So overall, I would say. Um, I can appreciate the humor in this movie, and it's kind of a tradition for me and my family, or at least we used to watch it every year. I'm not sure if we will this year because my younger siblings uh, would, would not understand. Uh, some of these references would not be good for them to hear. Um, but if you're probably wondering, viewers, uh, is it worth it to watch this movie? And it depends on what kind of content you like. Um, if you're okay with all these crazy sexual references, or if you don't mind language, or um, things like that, then um, you may want to give it a watch. But uh, I would watch it beforehand before showing it to your children. And you decide for yourself if your children can handle it. So overall, would you guys say it should be rated PG-13 for sexual references, language, and violent images? A very high I think PG I think I can agree with that, but... You gotta also keep in mind, cause I think it was like eight years, it came out eight years after PG-13 started, so it was kinda still in the early days of PG-13. I wish I had more thumbs so I could give it more than two thumbs down. I would not recommend this movie, and this is not, my Halloween tradition will be to never watch it again. You know, if I can make a suggestion, you could try and watch The Nightmare Before Christmas, that's lighter. Maybe that's the next, our next review. Oh, that could yeah. be our next review. <laughs> now, thanks for listening to our review of Hocus Pocus today. I'm Emberlyn. And, Catherine. Uh, oh. and I'm the Rusters. Rusters. Catherine. And Catherine. All my thumbs. Yeah. And we'll see you next time on Pioneer Movie Preview. Rust on. <laughs>